Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your Windows 11 computer is freezing upon startup or booting up. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward issue here guys on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to right click on a blank area of your taskbar and select Task Manager. Select the startup items entry over here on the left panel here. So I believe it's the startup apps button. So if you notice there's a lot of programs in here, I'd recommend disabling ones that are not necessary to start up every time your computer starts up. Please note it won't disable the program. It's just not going to have to turn on every time your computer turns on, which is usually the case for most programs do not need that sort of permissions. And it also slows down your boot up time as well. So just recommend taking a look in here and clearing out certain applications from your startup settings. So just I recommend going in there and taking a look at it. And then something else we can try here as well. Uh, if you have any peripheral devices like keyboards or mice or speakers, I recommend unplugging them from your computer and then attempting to restart your computer. Maybe you want to do it one at a time and see if maybe one of those devices is causing some sort of driver or software incompatibility or conflict. So that's something else I recommend taking a look at. And then finally, we can run a couple of system scans to just check the system for different potential file errors and whatnot. So if you want to open up the search menu and type in CMD, best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I'm going to have a couple of commands in the description of my video here, guys. The first one's going to be a DISM scan. So go ahead and copy that and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit and paste that in. Hit enter to begin that scan. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. Once that scan is finished, go ahead and copy and paste the second command in the description of my video. This is the System File Checker Utility, and go ahead and run it. Once that is concluded, go ahead and close out of here. Then you want to restart your computer.
So there you go, guys. Hopefully this pointer issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.